Why were they open? Ooh. Gave you all I had and you tossed it in the trash. You tossed it in the trash. You did. To give me all your love is all I ever ask. Cause what you don't understand is I'd catch a grenade. Wildcats. Wildcats. Today is Wednesday, February 28th, and it is an A day. Stay tuned for all the news you need to know and more. But as always, please stand for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, yes. indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's the last day of February, so let's kick our newscast with another clip highlighting a notable African-American for the Black History Month. Roll Gabrielle it. Douglas began training in gymnastics at the age of six. Two years later, she became a Virginia State Champion. At the age of 14, she left her family to train with Ling Chow. Martha Corley nicknamed her the Flying Squirrel for her soaring skills on the uneven bars. She was the first African American to make the U.S. Olympic women's gymnastics team in 2012 since Dominique Dowles in 2000. After 10 years of formal training, she won gold and the first African American to win gold in the women's individual all-around event. In 2010, Gabby was a three-time U.S. national team member, a Pan American Championships uneven bars gold medalist, a U.S. Junior National Championship beam silver medalist. In 2011, she was a World Championships team gold medalist. In 2012, she was a U.S. National Championships floor exercise bronze medalist, a U.S. National Championships uneven bars gold medalist, a U.S. Champions All-Around Silver Medalist, and in 2012, she was an Olympic Team Gold Medalist. Good luck to Mrs. Kervik and the DECA students who will be competing at States this week in Atlantic City. Ooh. Do you have any unused or unwanted children's books lying around? The National Honor Society is holding a children's book drive until Thursday, March 1st. If you have anything you'd like to donate, you can drop them off at the main office or any English room. All books will be given to Yoakum's Library. Last call to help the environmental classes with their Unless project. Please donate to the New Jersey Nature Wildlife Sanctuary Center. If you have any towels, blankets, sheets, pet supplies, spare change, please drop them off at room C35 by today. Also, the environmental classes are selling t-shirts to raise, raise awareness about endangered species conservation efforts search on only ten dollars see any environmental students or miss lynn in room c35 to purchase attention seniors your fafsa form needs to be completed and submitted by today see your counselor with any questions and if you have been accepted to a college please email the information to your counselor so they can list them on the bulletin board outside the guidance office attention juniors and seniors the sat will be offered on march 9th and you can still register for the test with a late fee until the end of the day Register online at www.collegeboard.org. The next testing date is May 5th. The Senior Technology Club meets today, after school in room 813. Well, that's all the announcements we have for you today from all of us in the TV studio. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching and have, have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. Wednesday. There will be a senior PD, se senior, <laughs> senior, and any ninth grader who hasn't turned and there, but I can't read that. <laughs> I can't read it. Like, it's just. <laughs> the NAHS is hosting another coffee house coming up. <laughs> coming up this Thursday. Oh, and just a reminder the inventor, the inventor, the inventor, 